Namaste. Okay, this is take two. And I don't see my lighter. Okay. Okay, so finally, oh, here it is. Finally, guys, I am out in my new studio, also known as the pool room. Didn't want to come out here because, for, first of all, I can't sit down because I think this chair is rotted. This is my old kitchen table. But you can't really see that. Uh, I don't want to stop moving the video around because uh, I'll screw that up somehow. But um, I am here to talk about angels because, to tell you the truth, my spirit guides and guardian angels have been... Not harassing me, but kept on uh, sending me signs and telling me it doesn't matter what video, other video I wanted to do, whether it was for crime, whether it was Scorpio, I'm still going to do that, Scorpio, um, and maybe some crime, but uh, they kept saying, when are you going to talk about the angels? When are you going to talk about the angels? So, I have... a. A video I got all set up in my dining room you know the usual place and I was just chilling didn't really want to do much you know usual laziness say hello to Jenny Rivera um so I keep getting signs. So when I went out to the post office yesterday to mail something for Crystal Leap Revisions, her artwork that she ordered, I'm sorry I, I look a hot mess. I have no makeup on. I put a little lipstick on, but it wore off because in the dining room, um, I was getting ready. I was doing a video, and my husband, Devin, says, uh, the guy that's fixing the computer is coming over. And he was just over the house last night. We waited a lot of hours, and he got off of work late, and he came over, and um, Devin was working on the computer from probably 5.30 to about midnight, because it still wasn't working right. So now the, the guy came over again after his other job, and um, we'll see if it gets fixed. Um, so he, he said, if you could just wait on the video, and I just had to stop the video. I did like three minutes. It's a lot of talking to, from me to Devin, so I'll probably not put that up. Anyhow, so when I'm going to the post office, and I've, I've been getting these for days, um, these signs or uh, messages from my spirit guides. I don't think I lit that correctly. ignored it I kind of like you know I'm resting like if I don't go to work I'm doing artwork if I don't go to my regular job teaching subbing uh, I'm working on videos or I'm working on readings or I'm working on my artwork that um, has been ordered or that I'm just creating so I just was like I have in my head you know these are the videos I want to get to and Spirit comes in and Spirit shows me a feather right in my face. So I'm holding the purple package, walking out of my car, you know. Yeah, that's how I walk like this. <laughs> I'm holding the package like a baby. And I'm walking out of my car and right in front of me, like two feet away, is a white feather. And it's, it's going like this. Like leaves falling, falling, falling leaves falling from the trees, right? I used to teach that to my pre-K kids. Um, leaves, leaves falling, falling from the trees, leaves, leaves. Anyway, it's going like this, it's going like that, it's going like this, it's going like that. And then finally, it. I go like this. I put my hand up as I'm carrying the package. I put my hand up and I said, come to me. I get it. I get what you're trying to tell me because I didn't do the video on the angels. 
I talked a little bit about angels and doing a video on angels, but I didn't do it. So I go like this, come to me if that's from you, right? So it came close, but just like a butterfly, whenever I say, is that you, mommy? It flies away, flies away from me. So um, I don't know if you could hear the music. Music is playing and my iPad is really getting broken. Um, so then I watched it. I went on the curb by the store and I made sure I watched it to see what it was going to do because it looked like it was getting picked up by the wind and it was going to go far away. But instead, it fell like two feet from me onto the ground. Then I was going to pick it up. And then I said, no, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just going to take it as a message, message received. I said, thank you, namaste. Thank you, um, spirit guides. Thank you, angels. And I will do that video. So I always do my research. So I was doing research today and yesterday, maybe the day before, because I wanted to get the archangels. They had said that nobody seems to know about the archangels anymore, including me. I do know about Michael, Archangel Michael, and a little bit about Gabriel, but most people don't remember them, and there was a lot that went into the Bible, then that some of them were taken out. There's loads and loads of archangels, okay? But then there's the main seven, and then the ones that were taken out were taken out because um, they went to the earth and, um, you know, got pregnant and had babies with earth people and the babies grew up to be giants and like killers. I don't know. It was scary. It was scary. But um, I'm just going to tell you that lately I've been very interested. I've always been interested in angels um, and angels have always helped me. And so a lot of people get confused. What are angels? What are spirit guides? And what's the difference? Guardian angel, angel, regular angels, archangels, and spirit guides, okay? So I'm going to try in this video to tell you the difference without sweating up a storm, okay? You're about to see me sweat because it's like a thousand degrees in here, but it's a little bit better because it's cooler out, okay? Nobody cares, <laughs> Devin said just wait and do it in there. I said, no, I need to have a place. Please, archangels, get me a place that I could do my readings and I, I could do my painting in there. That's that's no problem. The painting, I mean, there's hardly any room, but I could do my painting in there. I, I clear off the dining room table a little bit so that I could paint. But the readings, I can't concentrate if anybody talks to me, tells me about the dogs, you know, Connor and Devin talking, and it's not their fault, it's just that we're in a house. So I, I decided I'm gonna try to come out here a little bit more. I tried to do the table right out by the outside with the umbrella, but then I was getting ready to clean it, and then I realized that's, you know, there's flies that like fly over you because the dogs poop out there. We don't have grass, so every day usually Devin cleans it up. You don't need to know that. So I just said, you know what, let me come in here, even though I have to bring out the tri sand, the candles, the lighter, the cleaning solution, everything. Doesn't matter. Okay. And my notes. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with my notes. I hope you guys can hear me. I like to stand because. Um, the seat is obnoxious and it's better to stand than to sit. I'm very comfortable with standing. When I'm teaching, I usually don't sit because if once I sit, my back goes into a lock position, so I'm better off standing. Okay, then also at the end of the reading, I'm going to be doing my Archangel cards course my archangel cards and also um, they're both angel cards but they're a little different from each other as you can see okay but they give us messages and so I'll do messages for the collective with these two decks and I think the angels will be very happy with that 
And it's just like, I just want to let you guys know, when I'm talking about, when I'm saying things like, you know, angels have been harassing me, I don't mean that in, I'm a jokester, you know my style, if you know me, if you don't know me and this is your first time, hello, namaste, my name is Mystic Brady or Katrina Brady, you can call me anything you want, uh, Amy Winehouse likes to call me Mystic, Mystic, she says it in some weird way, um, but anyhow, welcome to the Brady Bunch. If you just please subscribe, of course, like my video or dislike my video. If you don't like it, I don't know why you would click on it. Uh, Angel video if you didn't want to know more about it. And yes, kudos to Bob Molly, okay. also known as my sleep shirt. Okay. <laughs> you didn't need to know that. All right, anyhow. All right, stop with the silliness. So I don't mean they're harassing me, I, but I've always been very highly, let me get the sage so that you can at least see the sage. I've been highly interested in um, angels. I'm sorry. I'm open and receptive to receiving any messages from spirit. Any messages for anybody who is watching me, will watch me in the future? Or is a Scorpio or any other astrological sign? Thank you. And I'm protected by the white light of Jesus. And thank you, Archangels, for protecting me. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Angel Ariel, and by the end of this video, hopefully you'll know more about them and uh, be interested. So what I was trying to get off my my mind over here, I was going to say friggin', but it's not really appropriate when you're talking about angels, um, but they have a sense of humor. Okay. Lift you up a little bit. Okay. Um, I have always loved this particular lady. Her, she's from Ireland, I believe, and her name is Lorna. See, I had the books in the dining room and I, they were all ready for you. I have like six of her books. Uh, of course, I haven't read them, but what I do is I open the book and I, I say whatever message I need to know and then I put my hand in it, then I read it and it makes sense. Okay, um, I think some people do that with the Bible. Um, I do that with regular books. Um, I wish that I was a better reader, but I'm more visual and auditory. So, of course, I'll watch a million videos and um, listen to, you know, podcasts, and I learn that way. Um, but I like to have the actual book with the person's writing in it. So, um, I had Devin order me off of eBay all of Lorna, well, not all of her books, because that was really expensive. Um, but Lorna Byrne, she talks about angels, she's from Ireland, and uh, she has a YouTube channel, okay? But uh, just a hint, she talks very softly and low, so you could barely hear her. So even with the iPod in my ear, ear um, I could barely hear her. So just a warning, she talks very softly. So basically... She was born, why she inspires me, and I know about her for years, but only just recently I got her books. And then I was like, I did the thing with the book where I put my hand in, what messages do the angels want me to know, what messages do my guides want me to know, what messages does Lorna Byrne want me to know, put my hand in it, and it was about how in the cap years and years ago, nobody knew about the archangels, right? They're on here, okay? And years ago, nobody knew about them. Um, and until the Catholic Church started selling the little medals, these like medals like this or wooden ones. I have a wooden one too. Inside it's in the sun. Um, this needs to go in the sun too because I've been wearing this in the shower and to work and every night I've been sleeping with it and it's been giving me peace. I have Raphael for healing, uh, physical healing and addictions and whatnot. And I have Michael, of course, Michael, I think. Yeah, 
Um, anyhow, in the Catholic Church, they started selling them for a dollar, I think. And then people started wearing them, buying them for other people. And the, the church was able to make their money. The church was able to continue to talk about God and um, the archangels. And then people got to know and remember that there are archangels out there for protection that we should be praying to um, when we need them. And they will come. They will come in some way, shape, or form. They will come and protect you or help heal you or help you with sadness or... Um, there's even an archangel for if you don't have food or shelter, say you're, you know, you're out of your home, you lose your home and you don't have a shelter, you don't have food, you don't have clothes, there's, there's an archangel for that and I will tell you about that. So anyhow, my hand goes to that page and she's talking all about that and at first I thought she was going to say that that was bad, that um, uh, God... Uh, Jesus didn't like when they were selling things or God didn't like when they were selling things in uh, the churches making it like a market but then I, I, I got mixed up with that that was an older story um, they weren't making a market they were just selling the archangel metals and wooden ones so that people um, would of course donate to the church because it is Catholic church right? um, but they, you know you have to run your church but also that people were, were getting the archangels around. And whether people wore them around their neck or just held them in their hand or gave them to somebody, it was getting them uh, known, knowledge about them. So, um, and she said that that was really good and God was happy with that um, because otherwise people would forget them altogether. Okay, so I was like, oh my gosh, they keep on telling me in my head and in my, you know, third eye and in my heart that when are you going to talk about the angels, Katrina? When are you going to talk about the angels? When are you going to talk about the archangels? People ha need to know, okay? Um, yeah, people want to know about the signs, the people want to know about the murders and solving cases and things like that, but they, they were like, your mission also is that people know about the angels so that they could pray to them and they could um, get healed and they can get comfort. And I was like, message received. And then uh, the very next day, which was yesterday, I saw the feather, okay? Um, so I just think everything, nothing is a coincidence. Um, that's why when something is shady, it doesn't sit well with me. And I always know there's a reason that we're going to find out, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but eventually we find out the reasoning behind it. And I'm not going to second guess my gut feeling. I'm usually, you know, almost always right. I'm not always right. Maybe sometimes I could be 90%, but I don't believe in it enough. And I, you know, go with the flow of other people and then I usually find out I, if I would have stayed with my first gut instinct, I would have been correct. Anyhow, that's a, another story. But you should believe in yourself. You should believe in your gut feeling. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I have plenty of notes. I, I got two books of notes. But don't worry, it's not going to be boring because it's just, this is a small book. And this is just like one page, okay? So, okay, let's start with, yeah, so definitely check if you're very interested in the magic. Oh, th another thing about Lorna Byrne, okay? What makes her so friggin' special, I'm sorry, sorry angels, but I have to do the friggin'. Um, what makes her so friggin' special and unique is that she could not, she was dyslexic, extremely dyslexic, meaning she never learned how to read and write. Um, you know, she's a, a grown woman. I don't, I don't know how old she is. I would guess that she's either in her 50s or 60s, okay? So you can Google her and see. Um, so she couldn't read or write. 
So she started seeing angels. Uh, she wrote a book called An Angel in My Hair. Angels in My Hair, okay? And she talks all about that experience. She sees angels all the time and thought they were people at one part, one point when she was a little girl. But she couldn't read or write, still to this day, right? And God kept on telling her, angels kept telling her, everything's going to be okay. We're going to help you. But one day you're going to write many books. And she said, oh, well, that's nice. And didn't believe, like thought it was her imagination and just said, oh, okay, thanks, whatever. You know, like, um, okay. But she continued to talk, tell people, anybody who would listen before the internet, um, anybody who would listen about her experiences with angels and whatnot so she had a lot of personal things that happened and she goes into it in her books um, if you're really interested it's very you know good read I, I don't know all of the stories because I haven't read the books yet okay I just do the thing where I open them up and I have them I'm gonna show you them um, when I go in that'll be another one and I didn't forget you crystal Libra visions you gave me beautiful gifts and you gave Devin some gifts too we sincerely appreciate it uh, and I will do a video I have the box still waiting in the car to to show people um, so don't worry I'll, I will do it but I had to do this first so okay when she so she was little she couldn't read or write and um, I think at one point uh, back then people wanted you to go into an institution they would tell her mother and father you know she can't read or write like that she can't live you know with you she has to go into the institution um and the mother said uh no no and so um the angel kept telling her her angel that she talked to her guardian angel kept telling her um you know one day you're gonna write a book one day you're going to write many books and it's going to be all about us. Okay? It's going to be about angels and how the angels help you and how the angels can help everybody. And she would be like, yeah, okay, you know, I can't write yet. I'm still dyslexic. I'm still, you know, severely um, can't read or write and couldn't understand a lot of things. So, like, basically, I think she said she wasn't educated um, she was as much as she could, at, like at home through her mother and maybe I think her brother. So, long story short, um, long story longer, which is what I do. Basically, what she did was she just, you know, went along, still talking about the angels, still praying to God to help her in different things. I think she, I'm pretty sure she got married. She had kids, and one of her kids, um, the baby. I guess went to die, you know, was something was wrong. And she almost died too. She did die. And she talks about heaven, how she went to heaven and she was holding her baby and she didn't want to give her baby up. And she wanted to stay in heaven because it was so peaceful and every, you could feel the love coming off of the trees, off of the atmosphere, off of the galaxy. And she said it was the best place to be. And, and it, she could do so much there. She said you could do so much in heaven and so much work could get done. Whereas, you know, on earth it's so hard. You know, you have all these disabilities and things get in your way. And so she, then she saw an angel come in front of her and she recognized the angel as being the person who, uh, the person, the angel that has always been guiding her. And you're a guardian angel when you die. You come into the world, you have guardian angels. My mother always told me that. I think you're assigned seven, but there's always one that's just always with you. And when you pass over, they go with you out. And they go with you over to heaven. Okay? So, but you don't try to, you know, kill yourself or anything to get over there faster. Because that's not how um, God wants the world to go. Because when you're taken out, like murdered or kill yourself... That's not the contract that God has with you and with, that you have with the universe because everybody is here for a reason. That's why we have to stay our time frame, whatever God thinks um, should be our time frame, okay? 
So she, um, so she's in heaven. She wants to stay, but she has other kids around her bed. And I think her husband that was saying, don't leave us, don't leave us, you know, cause she was dying and the doctors and nurses were saying, well, she's dead actually. She lost the baby. And I guess they were trying to get the baby out and the baby died and, and she died. So the angel that was across from her said, but you're not done and you must go back because you have your kids and not only that, your kids, your husband, but not only that, your mission that is from God, you have to fulfill it. You have to complete it. Um, and without you doing this mission, a lot of people can get hurt. A lot of people could lose their lives. And so she said, I want to stay with the baby. The baby was alive in heaven, of course. Um, and that's another thing. Anybody who lost a baby or even had an abortion because you just couldn't bring that baby into the world at that time, they will be over in heaven waiting for you when you pass over. Okay, with their arms out, with love, okay? And they, who they stay with are their angels, their spirit guides and guardian angels, and also your loved ones that went passed over before you. They take care of them. My mother's taking care of my daughter, Lily, that's in heaven, okay? Um, anyhow, let's get back to... So she says to the angel, but I... You know, I want to stay with the baby. And she says, you have to raise your kids that are waiting for you down there. And you also have this mission. And then we, I will have her right here for you when it's your time. And at that point, she takes the baby from her. And she says her arms and her arms were moving. I think it was a girl. Her arms, baby's arms were moving and her legs were moving. And then when the angel was holding her baby, um, the baby looked at Lorna and smiled. So she knew she was safe and that she was going to be okay. And then she went back down to her life, back down to the hospital and in, into her body. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too confusing. That's just one part of it. The other part before I talk about the angels, I'm sorry this is 27 minutes in. Sorry, not sorry. Um, because I'm long in the tooth, but it's hard to explain. And then I get tongue-tied, and I had to tell you about my new, my new room. Okay. But you guys remember it back from uh, the Lori Vallow uh, case and the uh, Suzanne Morphew case. I won't come in here at night, though. That was scary. No more night, night wine in here. I could have fell in the pool and died. Okay, anyhow. I think this is my third or fourth cup of coffee and I'm still not awake. I've had my medication, I had my half of my vitamins. Anyway, so I'm always okay to do, I'm always okay and energetic enough to talk about the angels and the guardian angels. Okay, so the other thing for Lorna Byrne, I'm not finished with Lorna Byrne that was interesting and beautiful is that as she got older and she was doing her mission, talking to people about angels before the internet, okay, and then the internet came. So at first maybe she was just talking in groups and Ireland and not able to really, you know, um, talk, you know, maybe she did like workshops and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm just imagining things. Um, but then the internet came and then, you know, you could reach so many people, like, as you know, I do. And I'm always happy when I, I'm talking, you know, I get a sub from England or Ireland. I always say, Ireland, where are you? Um, England, I love you. Uh, Ireland, I love you. And Australia, I have a, a few Australians. And would you believe I have people from Germany? Um, a few months ago, I guess they liked my contact content back then a few months ago I had people from Africa Senegal um, which I have 7% Senegal African-American blood in me 
Okay, bet you didn't know that. Maybe you did. If you watch me, you know, because I've mentioned it. Um, long story short, the angel came back to her. The angel is always with her, just like the angels are always with you guys and with me. It's just a matter of feeling them. Um, I don't see them. I see like a light and I feel a feeling, I, which I think is, is that clairsentience. I don't want to miss up, mess up on the words, but I get the feeling. And sometimes I see sparks and orbs of light and I feel heat. And I definitely feel, I hear um, the voices like I would hear Shanann in her voice. She would tell me, you know, like, I got you girl. You, it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you, girl. Okay, um, and different people. I've heard their voice. Suzanne. I've heard a voice. Gannon. Um, Summer. Um, the boys. Okay. Anyhow, Tylee and JJ. You know that if you watch my videos, I tell you what they said to me. Anyhow, so she said. Her angel said to her, it's time, Lorna. It's time to write the book. We've been telling you for a long time now, and now it's time. And she said, okay, you, I know you're always telling me this, but still dyslexic over here. Still dyslexic, can't read or write. How am I supposed to write a book or many books? I can't even write a paragraph. And she literally said that, okay? If you go Google her and find her YouTube channel under Lorna Byrne, one of them, um, she said that. So, and plus she's been interviewed by so many people all over the world. Um, and she's been in New York too, a lot of times. Um, anyhow, she said, I can't even write a paragraph and I want to do right by the angels and I want to do right by God, but how am I going to do that? How am I gonna write the, the books or book even a book when I can't write a page and they said we have you we're gonna help you okay but you have to ask for help so she did you have to like in other words they were telling her you have to attempt you have to make an attempt like we're not just going to pick up the pen and magically there's going to be all writing on it uh, you have to make some phone calls you have to reach out for help and of course main thing ask God to help you to write about the angels put people in your uh, put people in your um, atmosphere that will help you and assist you with this mission okay and Archangel